Acolyte, may I speak to you for a moment? For a beauty like yourself, of course. Oh, yes. Thank you. You're too kind, really. There was another Acolyte, not long ago, who entered this tomb and did not come back. He... he died in there. And you were worried to see a handsome man like me die too? No, I mean, not that... But that's not what I meant. I mean, it's just that the acolyte who went in there, he... he was a good sort. Friendly and talkative. He said he was entering the tomb to prove himself to his father. I just thought it would be nice if somebody took his body back and told his father he didn't make it. Yes. The father should be told that his son has fallen. I'd never survive in there. And even if I did, I wouldn't be allowed to see his father. He is a Dark Honor Guard stationed in the Academy. None but Sith can ever set foot on the sacred ground where he stands watch. But you could find the body and bring it to his father. Please do this and honor the Fallen. If I see the Acolyte's body, I will try to retrieve it. Thank you so much. If you find the Acolyte's remains inside the tomb, let me know. I can tell you where to find his father in the Academy. Good luck. What exactly are you? Could you try to explain things from the beginning? What happened then? If Prythor's the one who exiled you to these caves, I doubt he'll change his mind about feeding you. If Prythor is really behind all this, he may be worth investigating. Places Amin's white eyes fools. Go and did a seek from Tau Hans. It took it a melaswe sama. Word sign in Merem Nai. Saiga trawa dega. Tagasar chais and parks prize war peren. Swase ik bus karadida. These were the instructions Zash gave me. I am to free you, and you will take me to the map in the final chamber of the tomb. Aba barna habans. Klau bena. Ni in Usakwai, Usi Terrans Apipao. Was Jabe wise Jabe, prophet this, we sons Jagara Haitang. I have no idea what you're saying. Jagasar Chais and Barks prize were Pairen, Swase Ik Bus Karadida. Papro Gatua, Ina in Laosolam. Ja kasatira tu ima. Twade en warpai an parlai kain. Ah! Ok Nami in maidens. 
ipsik er bay kudana ja us er pai rojandan in bise wistai in biso ze waitai spila press in kretai in bise e wanata atragata in jais obey or perish sisunja targi skolan found him that poor acolyte yes yes one dead acolyte. His father is... was... Naaman Fall. As I said before, he's one of the Dark Honor Guards in the Academy. If you take the acolyte's remains to his father, I'm sure he'll be grateful. I suppose it's always good to make powerful friends. You can find the acolyte's father outside the chamber of the Dark Council. That's where he stands guard. Step forward. I assume you've completed my task. I will take the Holocron now. It is time we judge the purity of your overseer's blood. Time we know how much of the ancients survive in their veins. What does it matter? The ancient Sith are dead. It matters because the ancient Sith are the source of our power. They are everything we are. The holocron, it glows white. So little Sith blood in all of the Academy. And only one of the overseers wears the red marks. This is shameful. I will bring this to the attention of the Dark Council. Measures must be taken if the true Sith are to survive. What's your plan? I'll advise purges and enslavement of those with the thinnest blood. And uplift the pure. It will be the Dark Council's decision, however. You have served well. It is too late for me to alter your training. But in the future, perhaps acolytes will kneel at the feet of the pure-blooded. What do you want? I'm training slaves to feed the beasts, and I don't have time to chat. Have you heard of a creature called Serun? Serun? You know of Serun? That creature was close to me when I was an acolyte. It helped me survive my trials. It traveled places I couldn't, told me everything it heard and saw. It had been living off vermin before I came along. I figured out a way to make it healthier, stronger. Serun's special meals. By all means, continue. Serun never knew exactly what I fed it. Its meals weren't just beast fodder. Serun ate the corpses of the Academy's failures, the bones and blood of dead acolytes. Feeding on their energy after death, it grew exponentially more powerful with every meal and became strong in the dark side. How did a fool like you become an overseer? Maybe taking Serun was a mistake. But I was... We were strong together. When I saw how twisted Serun was becoming, I sent it away. It was becoming hungrier all the time, and I feared it would attack the living. Destroying it seemed impossible. It could heal any injury it suffered. I hoped it would find a new home somewhere. But it seems we must act more decisively. We could. Or I could give it the meal at once. Aid Serun and it will turn on us. One more taste of power, and it will begin hunting Acolytes. I can't allow that. Together, we must poison Serun. Before I sent Serun away, I developed a powerful toxin, but I didn't have the heart to use it. It won't kill the creature, but it should strip it of its power. So let's say we poison it. What happens to Serun then? My best guess? If we do this, Serun won't survive much longer. It will hide as best it can and slowly starve. But the alternative is to let it become a living horror. Serun needs to become strong. It needs its food. Serun's not loyal to the Sith. Not to me, and certainly not loyal to you. But... I have a degree of loyalty to the creature. If this is what you insist on doing, I'll give you what Serun wants. Perhaps the creature will prove useful again. It's an interesting experiment, if nothing else. Perhaps. This should be what you need. Feed it to Serun, and the creature will have the strength it desires. Let's hope we're not making a mistake. <laughs>